The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Baja Biamila, has tasked the media on the need for more investigative reporting as a way to exposing corruption in the country. The Speaker made the call together with other speakers at the event to mark the House of Representatives Press Call Day, which was done in collaboration with the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center, CISLAC, in Abuja. Sandra Guana completes the report. It is the press call day and it was organized in conjunction with the Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center under the team Fight Against Corruption Setting Agenda for the Ninth House. The team was apt according to all the participants, especially at a time the legislature is saddled with the animus tax correct negative public perception against the legislative arm of government as a corrupt institution. In declaring the event open, the speaker represented by minority leader of the House, Indudi Elumidu, says the war on corruption must be collective and be public. Corruption is a dangerous social disease that brings about societal decay and decomposition. It endangers every fabric of our existence to the extent that it kills the sustainable economic development of a given society, renders societal values and justice impotent, and ultimately brings about massive destabilization and disintegration. Corruption threatens the rule of law, that is the pillar that holds our representative democracy and undermines the institutions and values of our hard-earned democracy. And for these reasons, corruption should not in any way be allowed to thrive in our society. Fighting corruption should be collective, proactive, and sincere, and at the same time should not by any way be political or politicized. In their goodwill message, participants decry the unseriousness in the fight against corruption by the three arms of government. This was captured by Dayo Olaide, Deputy Director MacArthur Foundation and the Executive Director Sislak. Currently, Nigerians perceive or believe that it is only the executive arm of the government that is fighting corruption. But we think it is not correct. If the legislators, they did not do the law to create the anti-corruption agencies, to provide the resources, to carry out effective oversight and ensure that you know, those anti-corruption agencies, they also conduct their businesses according to the law establishing them, we will not be able to have the kind of anti-corruption that even the executive is celebrating. So a kind of, we believe that the National Assembly is making a lot of contribution in that aspect, but it's also not being known, simply because, of course, there, are, there has been low perception of the general public that the National Assembly, perhaps, they don't believe in anti-corruption. So therefore, it is important. Anti-corruption is not a fight that is only solely left to the executive. The legislature and the judiciary also have to put their hands on deck, and also all the citizens of this country. Anti-corruption in the legislature has been solidified by, in, by consolidating two main anti-corruption institutions, like the ICPC and the EFCC. These both emanated from the National Assembly. So the National Assembly is doing all it can to see that corruption, the hydra-headed monster called corruption in this country is eradicated for good. So I think that with the formation of two committees under the, in, in the House of Representatives to, to work together with the ICPC and the EFCC, I think the National Assembly is making all its efforts to ensure that um, it lends its hand to fight corruption. The role of the media in fighting this cannot be overemphasized. That's the more reason why we are holding this program to ensure that journalists covering the House of Representatives gain access to information, credible information, 
to the public to let them know what the House is doing. The discourse today is part of the agenda, and it is rather intriguing that even as correspondents covering the Parliament, it is sometimes easier to squeeze water from the rock, that's exactly how I will put it, than getting necessary information that will ease our task of informing and educating the public on the activities of uh, Parliament. There was paper presentation on using ethics to enhance legislative oversight and the place of ethics and investigative journalism in the Parliament was delivered to expose and remind journalists of the importance of media in the fight against corruption. The one day event is to remind the Ninth House of the enormous tax awaiting them and the need to ensure that corruption is fought with all sincerity of purpose to change the negative perception the public have against the legislature. Sandra Guana, TVN News.